pretty sure all of us have heard of Barbie. Naming it after her daughter, Barbara, Ruth Handler created it back in the 1950s. I think I can safely say that all of us have seen someone play with a Barbie doll if they haven't done it themselves. But here's the truth about Barbie. She sets really unrealistic body standards for young girls everywhere. Have you ever noticed that she can rarely stay upright? Well, if she was a real person, she wouldn't be able to because her dimensions, they just don't make sense. <laughs> Let's talk about Ken, Barbie's fictional boyfriend, shall we? He's six feet tall, muscular, has a dimpled smile and flopping blonde hair. Barbie and Ken have taken on different, more realistic and diverse forms now, but the damage has already been done. Young girls come to have unrealistic expectations for their own body, like girls want the narrow waist or the silky hair, and boys want the muscles and the height. Or that's what usually happens. And that's just how it begins for everyone. As kids grow up, they see ads claiming to rid you of fat, or they hear adults talking about losing weight. And then they go to the mirror and they think, oh well, I guess I could be thinner. It's a slippery slope from here. They grow up thinking the word fat is an insult, one that if it's used to describe you, makes you disgusting and inhuman. The effects of a poor body image are numerous on the brain. A study conducted in 2006 by Bradley Hospital, Butler Hospital, and Brown Medical School states that adolescents with negative body image concerns are more likely to be depressed, anxious, and suicidal than those without. What I find even worse is that people who can't lose, who can't lose weight are ashamed for it. There are many reasons for this, being on medication, their genetic coding, or a disease they may have. And social media only adds to the stress felt by adolescents about their body. An eating disorder treatment center in Chicago revealed that 30 to 50% of its patients use social media to support eating disorders. A 2011 study by the University of Haifa revealed that the more time spent by girls on social media, the greater their risk of getting an eating disorder or having a negative body image. What I think we really need to realize is that there's no perfect one body, there's no perfect one face. What's really needed is diversity. All types of people, young, old, fat, thin, different skin colors, they all need to be rep represented in our community. Because beauty changes from time to time, but the damage done to a person because of those standards, that lasts forever. Thank you.